So, but in early stages, a lot of people think that they're a victim. They're being victimized by life because bad things are happening to them. And they don't realize that these bad things are not really bad things. They're meant to awakening us. They're meant to getting our attention because we're simply not paying any attention. So things have to happen to you. You know, you get slapped this way, that way. You know, you get beat up, you get pushed around. You get someone screw you over. You know, you are with a partner and the partner steals all your money. You go to divorce, you, your kids leave you, you get in an accident, you get cancer, you get things happen to you. And you think it's bad luck. It has nothing to do with luck. It's basically existence is communicating to teach us something and we're not paying attention. So it has to happen again and again and again and again naturally, because you're not paying attention. So one of the most typical things that happen in our spiritual awakening on this path is that many people, including myself, I myself is included, okay? So um, what we have is we're on the path, we're very dedicated, we're doing all the work, we're advancing, everything's going really well. And then something happens, whatever it is, you, it looks like it appears that you have deviated from the path. And then maybe five years go by or 10 years go by. After 10 years, you come and say, oh my God, I lost my way. I lost my path, 10 years gone by. I used to be very spiritual. I used to meditate. I used to go sit the, with the guru. I used to do a lot of work and I lost it all. And then you come back again. So there's an appearance that you lost it. It looks like you lost it. And then you come back. So that's something that happens to a lot of spiritual oh, seekers. Yeah. You know what, what happened was I was really on it. I was doing a lot of work. Then I met this man and I fell in love with him. And then we started having kids and then we moved to another country. And then I became a, a mommy with two kids and I lost my path. It happens but you can never escape your destiny. You can't escape awakening. So it's gonna come back and get you. But it's a part of the path is that you have this appearance that you lost it. It looks like you lost it. That's a part of it. I just wanna share this with you if you're there You've been there, you've gone through that, know that that is also a part of the journey. Then there is this periods that you're going around and round and round. You're not in bliss, but you're not suffering all the time. You're sort of in between the place. It's more suffering than bliss. Let's put it this way, actually. You are reading the books, you're attending courses, you know, you, you watched Eckhart Tolle, you've gone to him, you've gone to Muji, you've gone to Tony Robbins, you've gone, you've read books from, I don't know, Nim Karoli Baba, Muktananda, these are the old teachers, you've done Osho stuff, or you do new things that is happening, you're doing shamanic healing retreat, you go see the shamans in South America, you've done ayahuasca, you've done Reiki, Reiki one, two, mastery, you've done all kinds of different things. 
but you feel stuck. You don't feel like you're going around and around. You're not going anywhere. It looks like it. And you haven't managed to go beyond the mind yet. You do workshops, retreats and stuff like that, reading books, attending seminars, doing webinars like this. It makes you feel good for a day or two or a week or two, but then you fall back into your old pattern, old ways. And you're suffering and you're questioning life. Why am I doing this? Why am I on this path? Why don't I just, I wish I could go back into ignorance because yeah, in some ways, ignorance is bliss. If you're ignorant in a way, you sometimes wish you could go back and not be spiritual, be like your family, your sister, your friends, your a lot of people around you, co-workers who had no idea of the world of spirit. At least they're one dimensional. So a part of you is like, I wish I could be like them. But you can't go back. But you're not going forward either. So that's a tough place. So I want you to know that that is a part of the deal. That is a part of your journey. That scenario is also a part of your path. So I got some good news and some bad news for you. The bad news is that you have to go through these different stages. Most of us, most spiritual seekers have to go through these painful stages that you feel stuck and you're not advancing, you're not going anywhere. So you fall back into your addictions whatever that is, drugs, alcohol, sugar, food, bad relationships, abusive relationships. We all go back into our addictions. Hey, we all have addictions. So don't sit down and think you're the only one who's got it. We all have some sort of addictions. We're all, as a society, kind of addicted. We're drug addicts, we're sugar addicts. We have addictions, all of us. So don't beat yourself up. Definitely drugs, 100%. Because they're harboring us to be on some kind of pharmaceutical prescription medication. Or you just do some um, party drugs or whatever. Or sugar or food or shopping habits or whatever, something, some kind of addiction is there. So what happens is that you have a natural tendencies that when you feel like you're not going anywhere and you're, you fail or something happens, you go through a heartbreak or whatever is the story, you feel sorry for yourself or something happens, is naturally you go back to familiar places, which is addiction. You go to your addiction. You can examine your life, take a look and see if it's applying to you or not. So, and that is okay too. That's okay too. You basically want to recognize these things. 